So the first time that I went to the Econugenics web website, my first introduction to the company, I saw the mycophyto and I saw the story about mycophyto and coming from a background of growing up on a farm, growing up with plants, I was just really fascinated that the mushrooms are grown on a medium of botanicals and you know they're they're actually grown on a biomass of herbs and botanicals and so I thought that was just a super unique approach and really genius way when we think about the function of mushrooms but I have never heard the story of how you came to you know, come up with this as a way of growing the mushrooms. It's, it's a whole different approach and very revolutionary. Yeah, definitely, it's definitely revolutionary and it's most important, it's, it makes them more effective. So really to understand the story, we have to understand mushrooms. So mushrooms became very popular in the last 20 years. I remember when I talked in, a, in Cancer Control so, a Society in, a, in Los Angeles, I talked, I think, in 1997, about different topics and when I talked about mushrooms they really told me oh this is done nobody's interested can you stop talking about it wow. and then this is only 23 years ago you know wow. and now it's really changed so now that there's interest in mushrooms we have interest in mushrooms based on uh, the mushrooms that are well known mm -hmm. based on some uh, research and, 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 and publication and based on uh, their effects you know so Maitake has well known, you know, for a certain research on cancer with Maitake. Uh, Cordyceps sinensis, Dong Chong Xia Chao, which is which is winter worm summer herb. Mm -hmm. It's a it's a worm that turns into a, a botanical mm -hmm. that it's that the Chinese athletes used in the Olympics and got better results. Mm -hmm. It's reishi, gonoderma, the royal mushrooms of of longevity. There's a garicut, which is actually a Brazilian mushroom that the Chinese adopted mm -hmm. for immune enhancement. There is polyporous that is used uh, a lot for a uh, urinary and OBGYN issue. There is poria coccus fulling that is used a lot for the digestive system. Uh, Juling for polyporous is the one that is for the urinary system. And then there's hericium, which is specifically for the esophagus and stomach. Poria, shiitake that is a liver digestive relationship. Then there is mu, uh, wood, wood ear, auricularium, mu ear, which is more for the rectal area, the end of the colon. And then there are mushrooms that affect the lung and the face and the skin and the upper part of the body, like bi, it's called bi, bi mu air, white, white uh, mu air. Uh, that is used for more for nourishing the lungs, for dryness in the lungs. There is Tremela by air, which is more affects the lungs and a little bit has an effect on the brain. So people will use mushrooms based on their function. But it's really a misunderstanding and, and degradation of the power of mushrooms because there is a whole micro, just like there is a pharmacopoeia, there is a mycopoeia where you can actually use mushrooms just like herbs to make formulas. I used to make formulas just for mushrooms. So to really understand mushrooms, we want to appreciate their function, mm -hmm. their energetics, and their chemical constituency. Can you talk about w what's different from the way that herbs, so herbs can be obviously adaptogenic, so what is the difference between how mushrooms function versus herbs? So if we look at mushrooms, what are the energetic ma effects of mushrooms? The energetic effects of mushrooms is their effect on time. Mushrooms can affect our past, mushrooms can affect our present, and mushrooms can affect our future. What do I mean? Mushrooms can go and clean up damages from the past. For example, damage to the kidney from antibiotics. Hepatitis not, not turning into cirrhosis of the liver, etc. So how do they do it? Why are they different the herbs? Because mushrooms have affinity to what we call in Chinese medicine to dead areas in the body to areas that are not functioning in the body. Mm -hmm. They go and they clean them up. That's why mushrooms are used to clean up. When we die, we are eaten, we are eaten by fungus. Mm -hmm. It consumes our material. Right. So this dead area 
are areas where the body has, from the perspective of the body, it's dead, we have less control over it. There is less circulation, there is less oxygen. These are areas where cancer can develop, where autoimmune disease can develop, where, inf where infection can, can, can actually thrive. So the mushroom has the affinity to go to these areas and clean them up. That's why if you look at mushrooms, if you look even at your plants in the garden, you need to feed them special fertilizers, right? Mushrooms will grow everywhere. Mm -hmm. The more garbage there is, the better they will grow. Because they are able to process all these toxic en environments. So mushrooms can clean our past, can clean the toxins. A big, amazing property of mushrooms. Mushrooms can also affect the future. What do I mean? Mushrooms will train the immune system to function better in the future. That's why mushrooms are immune system trainers. How do we see it? You see that the effects of mushrooms on the, on the body doesn't stop over time. Mm. I am the evidence of it. Okay, I'm not super healthy, I work very hard. I mean, I meditate a lot, you know, I try, but I really I try to do a lot, to share my heart with many people. A lot of projects, I travel all over the world, as you know. I haven't had a flu for 20 years. Mm. And I haven't had a serious cold for the same amount. Why? I never miss my microfighter. It's in my bag, it's with me all the time. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't be doing this interview today because two nights ago I had a scratchy throat and I just woke up and I took a lot of microfighter. And I'm em emphasizing the word a lot to explain the other unique properties of mushrooms. Mm -hmm. So the other unique properties of mushrooms is that they are very safe mm -hmm. and they are very adaptogenic in their behavior, right? They will use different nutrients and will activate the nutrients. So you can take a certain dose of mushrooms on an ongoing basis, but if you need more because let's say you're getting sick, mm -hmm. you can really go up to in the dose. Now, I don't want people to, not necessarily people have to do what I'm doing, but when I'm, I sometimes will take a transatlantic flight, okay? And I'm like, feel, oh my God, I'm exhausted. I can feel like I'm getting a sore throat. And I will land healthier after 15 hours flight. But I took 40, 50 capsules during the 12 hours. <laughs> and I get down and I'm healthy. Just like I'm right now talking for hours. Okay, which I wasn't, you know, at night when I didn't feel well. It just took a lot of, why? Because they are so safe. Mm -hmm. So mushrooms has this ability to adapt to the environment of the body. So much greater adaptogenic qualities in herbs. That's why mushrooms are er have existed before herbs. They are very ancient. They have mm -hmm. this amazing ability to adapt. So it means that we can, we can change the dosages and we can use them all the time. What's amazing about mycophyto is that we are taking botanicals that are focused on enhancing the immune system right. and helping our general health. And the mushrooms takes the herbs and they activate their ability. Mm -hmm. You can see it in the growth process. There's more heat being produced mm -hmm. than when you grow mushrooms on regular medium. Right. And while I try to create it more for chronic health issues, the most amazing thing is that you just don't get sick. Mm -hmm. And we know it, I mean, you know, I have a few friends and people who work with me, they just, they never, they just don't get sick when they use. So it's remarkable, like I, I, sometimes I see all the different, you know, epidemics and say, wow, if people just knew if we took enough of this, right. they just will not get sick. Right. It, it's remarkable, it's really, it's, it, it's really amazing. So that's one thing that is important to really understand, but this is a result of the ability of the mushrooms to address different issues, issues of the past, of the future, and of the present. How do mushrooms address the present? They enhance and improve the immediate immune response. That's why I didn't get sick. Mm -hmm. The effect was immediate, within minutes. Right. I feel better. Right. It's not like a stimulating effect. You just feel, wow, my sore throat is gone. Mm -hmm. You know, I can sustain myself. It's, it's, really, it's really a gift, mushrooms. So then, that's a little bit about mycophyto. I want to talk about how we use mushrooms as a nutrient. Mm -hmm. I call it mushroom multi, multi nutrient. Right. So, for example, the 10 mushroom formula, I call it the ultimate mushroom multi nutrient. Why it is ultimate? Because when you look at the formula, you see 10 different mushrooms, okay? Right. So, you look at the mushroom and you can just, you, can, you, know, you can read on the label, you know, you have Ganoderma and Poria and Cordyceps and Vermitis and, and, you know, and Grey Fall, Shiitake. 
different mushrooms. Right. But it is not, this is not how the formula is designed. It's designed to address issues of the past, present, and future. And, it, it, and it's designed to cover us from the brain all the way to our urinary system. Mm -hmm. So you got cordyceps and ganoderma addressing brain function right. and detoxification of fat soluble toxins. So how will it happen? And Tremella supports it also by Moer. Well, these mushrooms have a higher level of phospholipids. Mm -hmm. And phospholipids can penetrate into the membrane and exchange with fat soluble toxins and rejuvenate and protect the brain. Also, they will protect the heart and the lungs, it's the upper part of the body. Then we got mushrooms that are protecting the liver, shiitake, and also ganoderma, of course. Right. Maitake is specifically for the digestion, and they have a relationship, a liver digestive relationship. And then we got hericium, poria, and auricularia, mm -hmm. addressing all the levels of the digestive system. Mm -hmm. And then you've got uh, polyporous juline addressing the urinary system. So now you can see how you got in one formula the whole body and different aspects. Mm -hmm. For example, polyporous trains the immune system for the future. And then you got Coriolus, which is affects the digestive system and affects the immediate response. Mm -hmm. uh, Coriolus, uh, the active ingredients from, from Coriolus are uh, used as chemotherapy agent in Japan for many years. So now you got the whole mushroom formula. And then what we do, we want to see, can we take the whole formula and create a, an arrowhead right. that will support the effect, that will support the macrophage, the target cleaners of the immune system. Uh -huh. And for this, we add the 1,3 beta glucans into the formula. So we enhance it. So you can see how now there's an arrowhead with 10 different mushrooms and different ratios. So because different ones have different roles, mm -hmm. the ratio will change based on the roles. So with, so with the 10 mushroom and it being like a, a multivitamin or yeah. a, it's targeted. A multi-mushroom formula. A multi-mushroom yeah. formula yeah. for the whole body. Right. So this is really something that someone would want to take on an ongoing right. basis right. to really support their past, their present, right. their future. The health. whole body system. And then they would want to take the mycophyta all the time right. to support more the immune response and their resilience. And so one of the concerns with mushrooms that we hear about, it's a fungus. Right. And there's some people that want, that have been told or advised, you know, that, that maybe they have mushrooms that show up on an allergen panel or sensitivity right. panel or that they should be avoiding fungus. What's unique about the way that these Mush two mushroom formulas are grown um, and how they're what's utilized or how they're formulated that so for a mushroom to create an allergic response for it like negative press right they have to mature into a fruiting body into a mature form and is that what you see at the grocery store yes exactly yeah exactly like, like a fruiting body yeah mm -hmm. so we are these mushrooms are grown as mycelium we harvest them at their growth fuck, at the growth stage, when they're really moving, when they're really transforming the medium into mushroom. So they're also very active. There are a lot of active enzymes, but they don't have the final fungus mushroom sensitivity properties. And that's why I often will give these formulas for, for people with sensitivity mm -hmm. to mold or to fungus and it will help them because the immune response is improving, especially the T-cell response, definitely. Wow, because it's like giving them the healthier, better tolerated version that will help their immune yeah. system tolerate it better? Well, it's more that it will just give them support for the immune system that can fight the yes. fungus and yeah, definitely. It's interesting, if you look at the 10 mushroom, you can take two twice a day mm -hmm. or you can take four twice a day. Right. And with the pectus, you know, with, with the mycophyta, you can take in two twice a day or three twice a day. But whenever you feel that you are stressed or exhausted, right. just pop a few more capsules, mm -hmm. especially of the mycophyta or, in, or another scoop. Or in my extreme cases, right. I will throw in 18 capsules into my mouth, you know, mm -hmm. and then half an hour later, another 12 and another 12. And right. suddenly my cold is gone. So knowing that mushrooms are grown 
on, you talked about it, toxins and that they, they take those on. How important is it that when you're looking to buy a mushroom product, how important is it to see how that product was, the mushrooms were grown? It's very important. And uh, with botanicals, it's sometimes hard to get all the botanicals organic. Mm -hmm. Uh, but also botanicals have active constituents, I'm less concerned, but mm -hmm. it's the main medium of the mushroom. Mm -hmm. It's really preferred for this to be organic medium, which is what, what we use. Mm -hmm. And it's one of the issues with buying mushrooms that are grown in China, for example, right. despite this, my affinity and respect, and I'm a Chinese doctor. Right. The soil there is very polluted. Right. And it, in fact, it has nothing to do with organic or not organic. There is, you know, there is lead Every, everywhere f a plane flies. There is lead falling on the ground. Right. You know, so we actually grow it in in closed systems where we know that we don't we don't have these kind of things. And yeah, so definitely because remember they do absorb heavy metals as part of their ability. So definitely, it's very important. So they are they're grown domestically right. here in, in the United, United States, States in a very controlled environment. Completely. So to really protect the integrity. Yeah, both both formulas. Which is important. Very important. Mm -hmm.